so sleepy. Hi. Oh, Paimon woke up a little earlier than you, so Paimon will fill you in. The villagers said that they saw us sleeping near the village yesterday. They couldn't wake us up no matter how hard they tried, so they decided to just bring us back here. Oh, and Dane came by just now? It looked like he was injured. He didn't say anything, though. Just made sure that you were alright and left. Kinda seemed like he had a lot on his mind, but that's Dane for ya. Hmm, let's think for a second. We were in that memory, and we saw that guy you called Curry Bear. He was the missing villager that we've been trying to find, right? And after that, uh, Paimon doesn't remember what happened. Wait, really? What a score! Well, what happened after that? Ah, there you are. <laughs> Sleep well? Bayram, you sure seem happy. Did something good happen? Something good? Huh. Wasn't anything good or bad, I'd say. It's just that, well, the village organized another search party yesterday. It didn't feel right to leave all the searching to the adventurers. So there we were, searching away, when suddenly this one guy said it all came back to him. According to him, one day around dusk, he was passing by this one tree outside the village, and he saw our missing villager. There he was, sleeping under that tree all by himself. His parents came a little later to wake him up, and they all left together. They looked like quite a happy family, apparently. And after that, well, we all started to feel like that really is what happened. Kind of strange that we forgot all about it for so long. Oh, and we also remembered his name, Curry Bear. Now, that's not a name you hear every day. Would have been helpful if we remembered it sooner. Well, I hope he's happy wherever he is. And we're all relieved now that we know what happened. Seems like everyone thinks Curry Bear left the village. That's probably for the best. At least they have some sort of explanation now. Paimon wonders how Atos is doing. Maybe we should go check on her. If she hasn't remembered like everyone else, we can tell her what happened. Paimon didn't see her in the village just now, so she's probably at the tree. Come on, let's go talk to her. It's you two. I was just about to go looking for you. I wanted to thank you. I was part of the search party, so I... Honestly, I just... Can't believe I forgot something so important. It's funny, but... I have this feeling he told me the same thing. I just can't seem to remember when. I guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Life is made up of a series of memories. 
As long as I hold on to our time together, he'll always be a part of my life. I'm just happy I got to meet him. So, who cares what happens in the future, right? <sighs> Okay, I'll admit. I'm just putting on a brave face. I was dumped, wasn't I? Otherwise, why would he just leave like that without saying goodbye? <laughs> you don't need to comfort me. I'll be okay. It's just like Kari Bear said. It's the things we overcome that make life more precious. And you know, if he has a heart, maybe he'll come back and see me one day. Anyway, thanks for all your hard work, you two. I promised I'd help Granny Jahiet with something, so I should head back. Goodbye. Well, that should be it, right? Everyone's lives can go back to normal now. Oh, right! Weren't you about to tell Paimon what happened after your conversation with Kari Bear? I did not know the Traveler had pockets. Uh, a picture? Where'd that come from? Let Paimon see! <laughs> 